Good late afternoon, everybody. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. If you would like to know details about the low, that will be the loungers of the week, Benny Loco and my brother Blaine. We call him Blaney. You can head to the other area, if you know what I mean, and see what I just said. Getting through that last video that you haven't seen yet because it's not even up on the region was really something. The phone kept ringing, and then I got chilly, and I had to put this flannel thing on, and it was just nutty. And then I forgot to do my closing. I totally forgot to do my closing. At any rate, I really appreciate everybody for um, joining in on the fun today and other times as well, and for bearing with me if I don't unnecessarily mention that you got something right. I do think there's a problem with it, uh, the live compared to the playback, so I just said live. Is that going to get me in trouble? At any rate, um, I'm just dropping in because I haven't really done anything over here today other than um, the quick uh, one from this morning. A minute ago, I held Bernadette up on the other. I'm just going to call it the other. There's a funny story involved with the other. I'm going to tell this story. And keep in mind that marijuana usage is not legal here in Pennsylvania. And so I will not divulge whether I currently partake in that substance or not because God knows... I could be booted off of here altogether. But this did happen years ago. Years ago, when I first moved back from Houston, I was kind of wild and crazy. And now I'm totally calm and boring. But um, my friend Mick, you know Mick. Um, I used to partake in some of the substance of which I just spoke. <clears throat> and I was in my 20s and all that and wild and free and thinner. You know, all that jazz. Women are always thinner in their youth and they go on about their big and later times most aren't but anyhow um i really wanted to lure mick over to my cottage on the east side and so i called him on the phone and i said come on mick and that was another thing i was like come on mick come on, why don't you come on over we can drink a beer we can smoke cigarettes we can do the other and you know he cracked up and i think he did end up coming over the other meant 420 stuff get it so, from that day on, we actually call the 420 item, we call it the other. So, it's kind of funny that I'm calling the live area the other because it's, you know, in my actual mind, I'm thinking it's not the other. That's a name for the 420 stuff. I hope you understand this. You know, I feel like I'm speaking in code language here on this YouTube channel. It's just ridiculous. Uh, the whole thing's ridiculous about the being punished and not able to go live here till September. And I did get some birthday people today, so I will definitely be acknowledging birthdays for the next two weeks. Jake, I'll just tell you now, July 12, 2006, that'll be fun because, you know, he's young. I don't know anything that went on in 06, I'm sure. Uh, July 12, 2006, he will be 12 years old. I think he already is. No, in a couple days. Wednesday. Why am I holding my hand up? Thursday. He will be 12 years old. We are celebrating him. Then the next weekend... Um, we will celebrate Buddy Bates. And all I know is his birthday is July 16th. I don't know the year. But he's real good about emailing me with stuff. And I could probably do... I know his interests are a lot like mine. Like, we like the UFO stuff and kind of the esoteric jazz. And um, he likes to ride bikes and, you know, this, that, and the other. So we are. I do have a couple of more things scheduled for this month of July. But I'm going to have to really, really beg you, please. It helps me to do these things where we can all gather together around the virtual table in real time. If you don't be embarrassed about sending me your birthday, I really want to do it. It helps me out. So if you have a birthday in any time in July or August, please get with me and let me know. And that way I'll have something on which to focus for the questions. All I need is you to email me at hauserman46 at gmail.com and um, just tell me your date of birth and year. You know, whatever, like mine's February 9th, 1964. And a few of your hobbies, like favorite color, if you like to read, like maybe a television show, you know, whatever, your musical taste, 
anything that you don't mind, you know, being a clue on the game. You don't have to tell us where you live, or now I'm having a hot flash, or any of that stuff. Um, you know, I can do things in a manner that maintain your privacy, yet lead to shenanigans. So, that's all. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please join me, join others, drop your political identities. Ooh, let's focus on issues, leave labels at the door, research before you judge, and remember that war is indeed a racket. Don't take my word for it. Just check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. Um, that's all. I'm I'm so thrilled I get to hold something up normal, not write backwards. That's another thing. I am really tiring of writing backwards, you know. I just am. I, I don't I'm sick of it. I want things to be non mirrored. Why is this happening? Why is it happening to most everyone who's going live? Um, who I know anyway, like Caleb Maupin or Cabin Talk. I've noticed she's backwards sometimes. I think even Sane Progressive sometimes is backwards, but oh wow, I'm really having a flash. Love you. Bye.